Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have some interesting news coming from the guys at Maxon. So Maxon has released the brand new version of Cinema 4D and this is the Cinema 4D R23. The Cinema 4D R23 does come with a couple of features and of course there have been some conversations and updates which we are also going to talk about. So without further ado, let's go right into Cinema 4D R23 and talk about some of the features that you should be getting once you go over to the link in the description and download this tool so first off we're going to start by talking about the new character animation tools so cinema 40 now comes with a brand new character animation rig this animation rig is targeted for stylized character creators and also stylized character animators and you can also see that this rig supports things like squash and stretch the formation of body parts and also scaling at the same time this rig doesn't just come alone as it also comes with a facial rig so this is more of an industry standard rigging tool set that you can grab right now and start working with it and it's very interesting to see that within the character rigging you know tool set that now comes with cinema 4d that we have this stylized version which is inclusive so with this set there is also some very notable improvements that also has to do with the animation workflow things like better keyframing is now here we have some pretty cool filters that you can now use within the timeline there is a very nice attribute you know manager and also there is a very cool new character solver that is available one thing which i'm quite impressed about is the fact that there is now an implementation of the delta mosh workflow which you can now use for deformation of course this has existed in you know tools like maya houdini blender for a while now but it's very cool to see that we now have this another cool improvement that we've seen with the r23 which already existed with s22 is some uv improvements now all of the uv improvements that had been existing in s22 have now been shipped over to r23 and it's very interesting to see that we have some very cool features like rectangularizing uv islands there is also some alignments to uv points or to uv islands based on selected points and edges and at the same time you can now easily straighten selected edges so real quick let's talk about one cool feature that is now integrated into r23 and that is the magic bullet look so magic bullet look from the guys at red giants is now nice part that is also integrated into cinema 4d so at this point you can go through and make some magic bullet changes directly on your viewport you can make some tweaks you can change some stuff instead of rendering taking these things out and you know opening up the red giant magic bullet look and changing these things it just makes sense that you can do these things here actually you shouldn't find this as a surprise owing to the fact that red giant and maxon did a merger sometime within the year and it's just very interesting to see that you know the merger has produced a product that looks like this and so far so good these are like the major features that ship sweet cinema 4d are 23 but there is an experimental feature which also exists here so if we open up cinema 4d r23 and simply go over to window go all the way here you would notice that the node editor is now called the scene node editor so if i simply click right here it's going to pop up a brand new window and within that window we will be able to do some procedural stuff so things that include distribution of geometries across your entire scene you know procedural modeling and so on and so forth you will be able to do and there is just a very wonderful color coding that is being done here so if i go through and select something like geometry you would notice that once we're looking at meshes or primitive for example if i simply bring this cube drag it right here you notice it has a color code of blue and if we also scroll all the way down and you know find any of these things they work based on the color codes that we also have here so you would also notice that things like modifiers they have like the green most of the poly edit tools they also have these you know uh, orange kind of colors that is being applied to them so at the same time you can also click and drag like this and simply go in there and start typing so for example you might also want to get some generators or maybe you want to get some operators and you can use this for your own personal use so you could also see that there is a search bar which you can use to search for stuff and you know it's just interesting that you can link things together you can play with them and you can simply either distribute things across and at the same time you can work procedural so you can also see like right here we have a primitive operator which i can use to change the primitive type that i want to work with 
and I just simply attached you know a very simple atom array to this so if I simply select this right now and you know select something like tube we have this going and you can see that right there let's go in and rotate across and you can see that and of course you can make changes and you can do all of these things so like I said earlier this is still within its early stage and it's still within its experimental stage so hopefully it's going to get better and over time we're going to see some very interesting things for this so if you want to read more about the updates and you know you want to read more about the cool features that now exist with cinema 4d r23 i'm going to put a link in the description where you can check some of these things out and also see some of these things for yourself now some of the news that we have is that the guys from magzone are announcing something very interesting and it is known as magzone one what is magzone one so magzone one seems to be a very nice little way of them saying that at the point like this if you want to get every single thing if you want to have like an all-in-one subscription which would include cinema 4d redshift you know the red giants complete pack that right now you can do this now the pricing for this comes in two different variants you can choose to get this either monthly and you can get them yearly at this point there is no perpetual payment that is available since maxon seems to be going towards the subscription route so if you want to subscribe for this per month and you know have access to cinema 4d red giant complete suit redshift sinverse and also the team render you can choose either of these plans and get good with it or you can go through the previous route which has to do with you just getting subscriptions for one product maybe another one that includes redshift or getting it as a perpetual license some other notable features which are still being tested and you know which you can also take a look at is the usd support if i simply pop back r23 here and go over to extensions you now notice that we have a new usd bridge this is still you know on the test and i guess this is still being experimented on so hopefully it's going to get better and the whole idea here is for you to use cinema 40 to import and also export things like you know models cameras lights in both usd format usda usdc and probably usdz and hopefully this might get better as development continues so these are some very cool announcements and also cool news about the r23 series that is being released from the guys at magzon so of course if you want to get this i'm going to put a link in the description where you can download both the cinema 40 r23 and redshift you know if you want to try that and also the red giant bullet looks if you want to enjoy all of those beautiful things that you can now do directly on your viewport so this is going to be about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with your tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace